Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu, Governor of Borno State Babagana Zulum, alongside officials of the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, have arrived in Marwa in Cameroon for the repatriation of 9,800 Nigerians of Borno origin. The 9,800 Nigerians constitutes the first batch of 46,000 citizens taking refuge in Minawal camp who have shown willingness to be evacuated to resettlement houses built by Borno government in Bama and Banki towns. Zulum led the Nigerian delegation to a meeting on the repatriation agreement signed between Nigeria, Cameroon and the United Nations and the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, which is to hold in Marwa in far north Cameroon. And some residents of Ogun State have raised an alarm over the influx of Fulani headsmen from Oyo State. The residents of Imekoa from local government area of the state and a statement signed by the sub, signed rather by some of their leaders say the headsmen are believed to be those expelled from Oyo State. According to them, famine is looming in their access because the local government shares a border with Igangan where some headsmen were recently evicted and have appealed to the state government to send security forces to their aid. The National Association of Nigerian Student Nuns has advised students across higher institutions to register with the political parties of their choice so as to contest for political positions in future elections. Chairman of NANS Damilola Kainde made the appeal in a statement signed today saying in the process of the coming local government election in Ogun State, negotiations will begin with political parties to have at least 60% of elective positions ceded to student leaders to contest. And in COVID stories, travelers to the United Kingdom caught violating newly imposed quarantine restrictions could face a heavy fine of up to 10,000 British pounds and 10 years in prison as the British government tightens measures to curb the spread of COVID-19 and its new variants. Health and Social Care Secretary Matt Hancock says the tough new enforcement rules, which include mandatory hotel quarantines for the first time, will come into force on February 15th. Hancock also disclosed starting from Monday the 15th of February, all passengers to England, regardless of where they are coming from, are required to take two coronavirus tests on the second and eighth day of a 10-day quarantine period. And in business stories, the Central Bank of Nigeria has disclosed the Federal High Court sitting in the Belkuta Ogun State Capitol dismissed a suit instituted by legal practitioner Olumide Babalola challenging the CBN policy on current account maintenance fee. Babalola had instituted the action in the name of his law firm in which he contended that the policy and guidelines of the CBN violated his fundamental human rights. The CBN, through its counsel, Adele K. Agbola, however, challenged the suit on the ground that the plaintiff lacked the legal capacity to institute the suit on a policy that affects the public. Justice Chitu Abubakar, after careful analysis of the case, dismissed the suit for lacking in merit and upheld the introductory objection. And in international news, Burkina Faso President Roch Mark Christian Carbor started an official visit in Brussels on Tuesday and met with senior European Union officials. The meeting is geared towards strengthening social economic partnership, security and health cooperation between Burkina Faso and the EU. The West African country, which at first managed to avoid a catastrophic surge of the coronavirus, is now trying to cope with a much deadlier resurgence. Kabor's visit also intends to strengthen cooperation even as he begins his five-year term as the president. And now in sports, Nigerian athlete Blessing Okagwari has been recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records as the only athlete to have attended the Athletics Diamond meetings 67 times. Okagwari earlier today shared the news via her verified Instagram handle. The mail sent to her by the body with the most appearance in Diamond League meetings by an athlete is 67 and has been achieved by Blessing Okagwari between 30th July 2010 to 31st August 2018. Okagbare, a track and field athlete, holds the women's 100 meters Commonwealth Games record for the fastest time at 10.85 seconds. And that's all on the newsroom. We will be back at the top of the hour with more updates. I am Mary Kanu.